Hi, we're here at RCTV, the RCTV booth with Marion Ryan. She is our current district attorney and she is running for re-election. Marion, it is so great to have you here. Thanks, it's great to be here today. Awesome. So have you had a chance to check out most of the street fair? I have. I've been walking around, talking to folks, met a lot of nice people, <laughs> chatted with some kids, great kids with lots of decorated faces. <laughs> oh, yeah. So yeah, it's fun. <laughs> Definitely. Do you have a favorite booth or, or anything that stands out for I'm you? I'm really loving the Harrow's booth. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you aren't the first person to say that. <laughs> 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 yes. Um, so you are currently our district attorney. I am. You are running for re-election. Um, what do you hope to um, accomplish in this coming um, campaign and then hopefully, you know, in your next term? Sure. Um, a couple of things that really are important for our office. Are, first of all, the prosecution of cases. You know, we're responsible for all of the thirty-five mm -hmm. to 40,000 cases across the county. We do that extremely well. The second piece of it and the really piece that requires us being creative about these things is sort of looking at those cases and thinking about what could we do better? How can we educate people to protect themselves and their families? What can we be doing to prevent some of these crimes? And then when somebody does find themselves having committed an offense, maybe because of a mental health issue or a substance abuse issue um, or some other life situation, what can we be doing to hold them accountable and also let them go back into society, mm -hmm. not repeat that? Mm -hmm. So do you really see your role as one that partners with law enforcement in those issues? Partnership is just critical for us, and it isn't just law enforcement. So many of the things we deal with aren't just sa public safety issues, they're public mm -hmm. health issues. Mm -hmm. So I've put together a lot of great partnerships with the hospitals, with the ambulance companies, with treatment providers, you know, really getting the whole community invested in these issues. Excellent. So what do you see next for the district attorney's office? Well, we're going to be continuing a lot of that work, particularly our work in the schools, our work at the senior centers, and as I mentioned, the, the hospital-based programs dealing with some of the mental health and substance abuse issues. All right. That's wonderful. Yeah. Um, so where are you headed next? Um, I think I'm going to Bill Ricca next. Awesome. And, yep, it's a beautiful day. There's lots of things going on, kind of making the rounds to lots sure. of places. Yeah. Sure. Absolutely. Well, hopefully you get a chance to try out a little more of that chicken pot pie along the way. That and the ice cream. <laughs> and <all> the ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Well, thank you for being with us here today, and uh, good luck. Uh, are you in the primary election on Tuesday? I am in Tuesday? the primary on Tuesday, so hope everybody gets out and votes. Gets out and vote on Tuesday yeah, for the primary as well, and hopefully in November again as right. well. Right, and vote Ryan for district attorney. Ryan thank for district attorney. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> thank you Take very care. much bye for bye. being here. You're watching RCTV's coverage of the Reading Falls Street Fair. We will be back in just one moment.